guys and welcome back to this week's episode of Train Simulator. We're continuing on with the building of the Quaker Town in Southern. Um, we are actually currently working in the Hatfield area. Um, during a couple of my test runs I realized this area really didn't have much scenery. Um, and it wasn't like a huge gap, it was a gap of maybe a half mile or so is right around a warehouse so I decided you know what we're gonna fill it in and get it up to the way we would like it so that's what you see me doing right now I'm just putting in some grass and you can kinda as I pan around here you can kinda see yeah it looks kinda barren at the moment and eventually you see that bridge there eventually I am gonna put that bridge in Quite honestly, I completely forgot about it first time of asking. Um, so it will get put in at some point, but it's not necessarily going to be in this most recent update. Um, additionally, this most recent update um, will include everything you see in the video, but it also will include a little bit of a change up in the Quaker Town area up at the engine shed. Um, I realized the railroad kind of needs a place to do their 92 day inspections and um, to get under rolling stock and locomotives. Um, so I put in a pit on engine track 2 up at the engine terminal in Quakertown. So you may be seeing that um, as of recording of this voiceover that went live last night. So keep that in mind. Now, one thing I wanted to address as we continue working on this warehouse area, um, there was a comment on the workshop page that I've been meaning to get to addressing, and um, it's nothing bad, but the the poster tested out the route and they said it worked fine, but they said it was a little loud. Um, one reason for that is the track spline I used for most of the track on the route. Um, you may notice that the track spline for the route is from the Norfolk Southern N-Line add-on on Steam. And in the, in the track splines you get with that route, um, there's an option for 3D track jointed, um, meaning jointed rail. And I've worked out that that might be contributing to a lot of the noise. Now, I'm inclined to leave that in. And the reason I'm inclined to leave that in is because right now the route is all jointed rail. There's barely any welded rail on the route. But also, it's kind of indicative of short line railroading. A lot of short lines don't really have welded rail unless they're the Reading and Northern. But then again, the Red, calling the Reading and Northern a true short line is a little disingenuous to the massive amount of expansion they've had. Um, but with class three short lines at least, jointed rail is kind of the name of the game. So just keep that in mind. I know it may annoy some people, um, but it's kind of me just trying to get that short line, class three short line railroading feel. And that's kind of the kind of trade off we have to make with that. Um, you can kind of see the factories appeared now in the video. You see me putting in some of the roads, and you can see that I put in some trees, and it's kind of starting to fill out here. And it's going to fill out more with time. This is going to be a very much a long-term project. I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. Um, whether or not that will actually happen, I have no idea, um, because it depends on so many things. Um, you may have also got a glimpse of the disused Hatfield station in the background there. I don't know if I'm going to put that in service. As of right now, I'm not, but who knows. And with that, guys, we're kind of coming up to the end of the video now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small little update. And if you liked what you saw, please leave it a like. Um, otherwise, leave a comment or subscribe, and you can find all the links to Train Simulator and the route on Steam Workshop below. I hope you have an amazing week and see you next time.